All right, today we're talking about business analysis deliverables um, and comparing the differences between waterfall and agile. But first, before we get into the specifics, let's talk about what deliverable actually means. In the professional world, a deliverable is basically what you are expected to deliver, provide, or accomplish within the scope of your work. For example, for a developer, the, prim the primary deliverable would be working software. Okay, so let's talk about deliverables and waterfall because it's a little bit more clear and straightforward. Um, and for this, I'll split the deliverables into three high-level categories. And whether you'll have to do all of them is really dependent on um, your seniority and the structure of your team. So first, um, the first deliverable um, re revolves around understanding the business. Um, and this is the part of the job where you figure out whether there's really anything that needs to be solved. This is not always done by a person titled business analyst, um, because at this point you're figuring out, you know, returns on investments, um, getting business justification, which tend to be more like senior business analysts. Um, and the typical deliverable is a business case or a project charter or something similar. Um, next is planning your work. Um, once you or someone has determined that there's a project worth doing, um, it's time to plan on how you're going to do the rest of the BA work. Um, an analyst needs to plan how they are going to interact with all the stakeholders and get what they need out of them to create a solution that works for them. It prepares everyone involved and it also ensures that they have um, the right resources like the people, the tools, the facilities that, that might be needed um, for all the sessions. <clears throat> Um, this becomes especially important if you are a contractor um, where like a statement of work might be required. Um, the common deliverables here um, are like a work breakdown structure, communication plan, business analysis approach, and a requirements management plan. Um, the third and last um, category I'll talk about for this um, is defining the solution. This is the step that is typically what people believe um, business analysis is um, and what their delivers deliverables should be centered around. Defining the solution is essentially documenting what the future solution should be capable of doing to meet the business needs, also known as requirements gathering. At a high level, um, a, a requirements document or what um, the business analysis body of knowledge calls the requirements package, um, which I think better describes it, um, is what you'll be delivering. Um, this could include things like a traceability matrix, use cases, business requirements, stakeholder requirements, solution requirements, um, and they can be in the form of text, models, or wireframes. Now in Agile, things are a little different because Agile is intended to not be document heavy and move at a faster pace. Um, so many of the formal documents like a requirements document or a business analysis plan go away. Um, I like to think that the primary uh, objective of a business analyst is to facilitate clear communication and understanding. Um, how that is done is up to um, the preferences and strengths of the individual. Rather than focusing on um, completing a specified document, you focus on using the skills and techniques common of business analysts to ensure that everyone has the same clear understanding of the problem um, and what the, intend the, what the team intends to do to fix it. Um, this can be facilitating problem definition meetings, creating models and diagrams, writing acceptance criteria, the list goes on. I love it because as a business analyst, I get to constantly try and hone skills at a much more frequent pace. However, I can also see how an inexperienced or new business analyst might feel overwhelmed at the lack of a uh, clear template or set of activities. Um, and that's uh, my video comparing uh, what the deliverables are for a business analyst in Waterfall as well as Agile. If you have any additional questions, as always, uh, leave them in the comments um, and I'll do my best to either answer them right there in the comments or create a whole new video to answer them. So please subscribe so you can uh, be up to date on my latest content. Thanks for listening.